What is up guys? It's your boy Jeff coming to you from Truckee, California. Again, on the Lorenz Major. And today, out here with one of my friends on a Super 73 e-bike. Didn't really think I could keep up with him, but I was sure darn gonna give it a try. After about a week of really cold temperatures, a couple of storms, uh, where we got a couple of feet of snow. We've been having some epically warm weather here, it seems. It is just beautiful up here. A little bit of remaining snow on the trail here, but not really too much of a problem for the Lawrence Major. I was watching some of their marketing videos where they're riding through puddles and stuff, so I figured some wet trails, snow, shouldn't really be any problem. Of course, though, I am on the street wheels which have their limitations, which I hit about here, where I just couldn't get any more traction. Looked like the trail was getting too steep and just constant snow, so we decided, let's turn it back around. We'll find a new trail. This was really fun trying to chase down this e-bike here. I did tighten up the trucks on the Lawrence Major two and a half turns on the front and then I went three turns tightening the back and that seemed to really stabilize the whole board. Yesterday when I was out I did hit some speed wobbles and it really did freak me out. I was going about 30 miles an hour and I really do not want to fall. I haven't been wearing my protective gear as much just feeling a little more confident and not really going too crazy. These boards can really roll over a lot, so I wasn't too worried. Just really wear my helmet. And then, you know, when, if you do fall, tuck and roll, I guess. But definitely do not want to have any speed wobbles. It just ruins your confidence. So I think that tightening factor, still running the white bushings, which come stock on it. And it, it really handled much, much better. It's still not like a sharp carver, but you know, I'll take the stability. Right here, a little bit more snow, feeling more confident. And then just kind of doing, trying to get a couple of turns in. And then I just tried to carve a little bit too hard right here. And then just had to step right off, just kicking that back out. Figured. But you know, it's on the snow, so it's not really that big of a deal. I bet you if you had like snow tires, you'd put like running start, go. <laughs> At first I was really nervous about being on the snow and actually sliding out and falling, but after that I was pretty confident going over the snow. Really no big deal, even like not worried about wrecking the board or anything. These street wheels actually did really well over it. So here we are just out on the street. We're kind of heading over to this legacy trail here, which goes out to Glenshire, the cheap area of Tahoe, you could say, where all the locals actually live and we call it the bedroom of Tahoe. So just flying along the trail here and no that is not actually a belly that is just my jacket puffed up with air through the pockets because they're actually vents. Anyways, I do have like five layers on right now. Overly dressed. Let's check out this trail. Usually this is actually really icy, but we got lucky. It was just snow, which actually gave a lot of traction here. We were going pretty quick over this. And then once we hit this sections in the sun, it was just pure bliss. Super smooth on this trail, heading out having a good time. We're heading, hitting like 30 miles an hour on average. This little bridge is just going over the Truckee River. Great little spot. 
and then heading up into Glenshire. These are some great turns. The trucks were a bit tighter, but I was able to still like really lean them over. You gotta use some English with these trucks and this board to really get it to carve. You know, if you sacrifice stiff trucks, then you lose all your stability, it seems. I decided to hand over the Insta360 camera to my friend, have him do some filming for me. So that way I don't have to hold it. And I was really surprised here when I just started pulling away from him on the Super 73 and he was like, I, I can't keep up, you gotta slow down. And I accidentally just kept on doing it, like just going overly fast, accelerating pretty hard. And I guess I just never knew like actually how quick and fast this board really is when I'm just pulling away from an e-bike, which technically has a lot more power than I do. And even with pedaling, he was like, I was having a tough time hanging on. So uh, kudos to the Lawrence Major. I thought for sure I'd be chasing him, but it was really the exact opposite. He was chasing me quite a bit. And when I accelerated, he was just like, my bike's got nothing on this board. And he was really impressed. He was like, this thing is super rad. As it seems, I never get to actually ride without a camera in my hands now. So just not having anything like in my physical hands or, or whatever felt really, really good. Felt like I could be a lot more smoother, just more nimble. Even with the trucks like tightened down quite a bit, I was able to just kind of keep it going agile, keep the speed up higher and just leave with that front hand. Just like I was actually snowboarding, it just felt really good. This board really just seems to come into its own each time I ride it. And like I said before, it just keeps rewarding you the more you actually get on it and just gain more and more experience. So at this point, we had ridden about 18 miles. We just got back into Truckee and we still had about 60% in each of our battery packs. So we decided to keep on going around the back side of Truckee here. This is just some houses right above the whole town. It's kind of got a nice little view. Not sure if you can really see it actually with the 360 camera, but there it is just off to the right hand side. Super cool down there. Just cruising through these houses. Right there, there was a homeless guy, and he literally was just in flip flops uh, and board shorts. Ridiculous. And he was like yelling at me at something, but couldn't really understand what he was actually saying. So I decided just to hightail it out, out of the town, and then back onto the snow. This was a little bit of an uphill, so there was no way I was actually going to be able to ride that. So I just had to kick the board and use some of the throttle to kind of keep it going. I'm too lazy to actually carry it, so that that's what I did, just kick it along and let it propel itself. So I did try to get a little bit of running start here to no avail. I mean, if I actually had off-road tires, 
this would be no problem. My friend actually trying to give me a little bump with a Z bike right into the bash guard. I don't really think that actually helped. I think that probably caused more, more of an issue. But it's all good. Back on the path. It's nice and somewhat dry. Cruising all the way back. Starting to feel real comfortable now on the board at faster speeds and just really getting that stability down. Over the snow again, really no problem. That even has a big good kick up to that bridge section. So that's not the, the smoothest at all. And then back to the car.